Bonjour and bienvenue. Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Don't take me up on my French, guys. It's uh, a French classic today. I'm going to be making a French apple tart. These are wonderfully simple yet delicious. And uh, let me show you how. Now I'm starting this recipe with a store-bought puff pastry. Even the top chefs in the world use store-bought puff pastry, guys. It's, it's a complicated pastry to make. Now you can use the sheet puff pastries, but they tend to be a little bit small for this tart. So I've got a block here that's about 350 grams, that's about 12 ounces. And I'm just gonna roll this out now till I get a, a large square. So I'm rolling my pastry out to about so thick. What is that, about a couple of millimeters maybe eighth of an inch and um, you don't want it too thin but I would now use a plate to cut this out but I have got square plates guys so I'm going to use the top of a lid of a container and we just want to take a knife and just trim around our pastry to get a perfect circle and then we can take away the excess and don't throw away the excess guys another day I'll do a video but there's lots you can do with this extra pastry so I'm just going to take the edge now of this pastry and I'm just going to sort of roll, fold it backwards and forwards on itself to get a little crimped edge around the pastry. So it's sort of a zigzagging motion. So we've got this lovely sort of lace crimp around the edge of our pie base. And now we've just got to sort of gently lift that up and flip it over onto the baking surface that we're going to be using for, for cooking. Now I just want to pop that now in the fridge for half an hour while I prepare the apples and let that chill down. Now the apples we're gonna be using are Granny Smith's. They're lovely and tart and firm apples. Now you can use any apple similar to this. Now we want to peel these and then cut them down through the middle. So I've cut my apples in half and I'm just gonna use a knife just to cut out uh, the core from the center. So we're now just going to take our apple and we're slicing through it and we're just slicing them fairly thin. You don't wanna to be too thick. The tart base is out of the fridge now and I'm just going to layer the bottom of that with a little bit of apple sauce or apple compote, like a stewed apple. Not too thick, but we're just going to base the bottom and keep it about an inch away from the side. So now we're just gonna layer our apples on top of the apple sauce and we're gonna go round in a circle and just continue to go round like a sort of snail. So when you've completed your apples like that, you've got a sort of nice swirl in the center. I'm just gonna take a little bit of super fine sugar or caster sugar, and I wanna sprinkle that over the top of our apples. Probably a couple of teaspoons in total. And now I've got a little bit of egg wash, just an egg yolk wash, mixed with a tiny amount of water, and I'm just going to brush that over the top. Now I've preheated an oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And this tart is going to bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. And now before that goes in the oven, I've got a couple of ounces, about 50 grams of butter, and we're just gonna strategically place that over the pie. And this is gonna have a, a lovely sort of buttery glazed texture to the pie. And there we have it, our French apple tart, ready to go into the oven. I'll pop that on a baking tray now and bake that for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, we've got this delightful French apple tart. Will you look at that? It's got a lovely glazed top on it. I'm gonna cut myself a slice. Now this should be served with a, with a whipped cream or a French Chantilly cream, but I actually prefer just plain whipped cream. It's not so sweet. So I'm gonna take one slice of this apple tart and I'm serving that with a nice healthy dollop of unsweetened fresh cream. Well, I'm gonna give this a try, guys. I'm gonna take a little bit of cream and a little bit of the apple pie, or apple tart, as I should call it, and give it a taste. That is absolutely delicious. Another very simple tart that you can try at home. It's not too difficult to make. Give this one a try. You can buy store-bought puff pastry, simple apple recipe, wonderful. Guys, I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Be good. Take care. I'm going to sit and enjoy my apple pie. Apple tart. Thank you for joining me today to make the apple tart, the French apple tart. Um, comments down below, guys. I'll leave a link above for subscribing to the channel and a couple of links there. Look, if you give this a try, make the comments down below. And I'm always happy to take requests. I get quite a few requests and I always get through them eventually. So be good. Take care. See you later. Yeah.